Hey guys, Rachel Folden with Folden Fast Pitch here, and today's video is for parents and coaches. Yes, parents and coaches, or parents that are coaches, I am talking to you. One of the things that I see when I go to softball fields or softball practices, or when I have a team in my building working with us, is I see a lot of coaches that say things to their, to their girls or to their daughters that are very subtly hindering their daughter's performance. Here's what I mean by that. I'm talking about the verbal cues that preach mediocrity that come out of coach after coach, parent after parent's mouth. The cues like, just put it in play, or nice try, honey, or something of that that just makes it okay to be mediocre. It gets under my skin when I go to a practice or just anything that has a female athletic event going on and I see coaches that just preach mediocrity to their girls. And yet when I go to a baseball practice, you see a lot of coaches telling them that it's not good enough and they put a lot of pressure on their boys to be better, to be better, to be better. Expect the same from our girls. I know that through centuries throughout history, girls have seemed fragile. We're not fragile. We don't have to be babies. It's time to stop coddling our girls just because they're cute and just because they're feminine. Let them be feminine and badass at the same time. I think that's cool. We have to get out of this age old mantra that says that it's hard to watch our girls fail, but it's okay to watch our boys fail because boys have to be tough. Teach your girls to be tough. One of my favorite quotes that I've ever heard and something that if I ever have children, I hope to pass along to them is don't prepare the path for the child, prepare the child for the path. And if we approach coaching that way and if we approach our kids athletic endeavors that way I think we really create self-motivated resilient hard-working kids and this goes way beyond sports this is just a subtle reminder for what we speak to our girls that will transcend and go through their entire lives if we teach them that mediocrity is okay that if we teach them the bare minimum just so they don't fail what are we really teaching them? Have they learned those skills? Have they learned how to be resilient? Have they learned how to bounce back? Or the entire time that they grew up, did we just teach them that, well, let's just give you the easier version so that you can pass because I don't want to see you fail because Susie, you're just so cute. I'd hate to see you, you know, shed a tear. Steve Springer calls baseball and softball the biggest self-esteem destroying sport in the world. And it's true. If we can teach our girls to deal with failure in the hardest sport that there is, we're gonna teach them to be some pretty badass women later on in life. Someday, and I hope in my lifetime, there's gonna be a woman president. And I would bet that that woman president will at some point have been a female athlete. That is what sports teaches us. Sports teaches us to be tough. Don't take the tough out of it. Sports teaches us to be resilient. Don't take the resiliency out of it. Sports teaches us how to deal with failure. Don't take that part out of it. Praise your girls for being tough. Praise them for getting through tough times and don't let them out of those tough times. Make them figure out their own way. Expect more from them, and in turn, they will expect more from themselves. Be careful how we coach female athletes. The world is gonna tell them that there's not a place for them. We have to let them know that sports is not one of those places. So let's create more badass women. Women that won't take no for an answer. Women that won't stop trying just because they failed. Let's create those women. Let's create women that can change the world. Women that learn how to do that by way of sport. But if we just settle for the mediocrity just so we don't have to see our precious little girls fail, we're not gonna get those badass women. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Fold and Fast Pitch YouTube channel and make sure you follow us at Fold and Fast Pitch on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Thanks, catch you again soon.